With real-time data in the Domo platform, having automatic updates to your card is a very important piece. Using powerful filters such as contains, begins with, starts with, allows card creators to write certain rules and when any of those items or transaction data match those rules, they'll automatically be included in that card. So for example, I'm gonna bring in product items as a filter. And I only wanna include certain brands within this specific card. So when I come here, I can have an option where it says match values. And with match values, I have the option to include items that contain a specific name, does not contain, it starts with, or ends with. So it's very powerful where I can add in specific items that match this criteria. So I'm gonna add in Canon. And to make sure I have these specific items, when I select show preview, I see all these items. Now, we do have some new items being added in this upcoming week that are Canon products. When I add these specific products in the data set, it will automatically populate this card because it contains this specific criteria. So I don't need to go in and add each specific item, it automatically flows through. So when I select apply, I now see these items that are just filtered on Canon. I can also change the format of my date and numeric columns. So in this example, I have specific IDs I wanna focus on, and I can change this to a multi-select. By selecting the range, now selection, I can now come here and choose more than one item to be able to multi-select and focus on those specific product IDs, which provides a much easier way of being able to filter. If I wanna include this as a quick filter, I just select display as quick filter, and as you can see, these items now show up as multi-select. And so it keeps the same format that you chose as the filters. With these filtering capabilities, you can really craft the story that you need.